What's up everyone? Welcome back. It's me Jose and today's reading is for the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So today I'm going to be pulling oracle card messages from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck, the Moon Algae Oracle deck, and your tarot messages are going to come from the Chakra Tarot. Alright. Let's get right into the reading. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification down below so you know when I release all new videos. I wish you all many blessings. And let's see what messages we have here for the water signs. Show me clearly the messages for the water signs. Show me a three card message. Three, three card message for the water signs. Or four. Okay, show me clearly for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Help me to understand clearly what's going on around Corpus, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Show me clearly. Hmm. What's the Three of Swords here? Just clarify for the Three of Swords. How do I overcome the Three of Swords? Ah, oh, three million. All right. Water signs, first of all, numbers going. Numerology wise, we have a five, which is dealing with change. And we have two threes on the board. First card out, five of coins, right? Throat chakra energy. So someone holding back from speaking their truth. Followed by an amazing card to receive, the world. And this actually has all the colors of the chakra. So, um, a solar plexus energy coming up here in the yellow with the three of swords. And more solar plexus energy with the three of coins. Off back three, talking about partnerships, relationships, harmony, right? Restoring a balance and a connection. All right, so where some of you may feel like there was a time where you had to hold back what you really wanted to express, I feel like you're letting that go now because the world card is coming out right after that, which means you're stepping into a whole new cycle, a whole new, um, like leveling up. It's like you're stepping into a whole new world. All new possibilities are all around you right now, water signs. And this blue chakra energy is telling me like some people at one point when you did feel like you were left out in the cold or you had to hold where there wasn't enough communication going around. I feel like now you're speaking your truth, right? Now you're being your authentic self. Um, your throat chakra definitely could be unlocked. And it's allowing you to, because of this new sense of like unblocking your throat chakra, speaking your truth, not feeling left out, um, communicating who you are, what you feel. Um, and also with the pentacle energy, it's, it's about like the manifestation of things around you and the tangible, the 3D. Uh, it's allowing you to step into a whole new chapter of your life, right? Um, now we have the three of swords here, right? So this is, can deal with like heartache. Um, of course, like pain, this can deal with um, the mental realm because it's the swords. So this three here of the three of swords, it's just saying that be mindful, right, of any past experiences um, in partnerships or connections, right, that were, that left you feeling um, like with low self-esteem because with this is the solar plexus, right? And solar plexus is all about self-care, self-knowledge, self, um, self-awareness, right? Um, so you want to just be mindful of those things going forward, right? So that way you don't allow this to affect you. And with the three of pentacles, heavy on the pentacles energy, we have two pentacles coming out. This is telling me that it is time for you to make sure that you are working towards, right, those partnerships that you are looking at the people around you and seeing what, how do you take those connections to the next level? How is it in each one of those relationships 
where you're able to put both parties perspective to create something new right a new path because it's like a pyramid so it's like one person on this side one person on that side two different perspectives two different talents two different energies and you create a new path right merging like two different views so it just says to make sure that you work on those partnerships and make sure that those partnerships are truthful right make sure that there's not going to be any confusion around there make sure there's clarity in these connections moving forward because you have an opportunity now to step into the world, which is all new, all new abundance, all new opportunities, right? Which is really awesome. All right. So let's clarify these. Okay. Why do we have the five of pentacles here? Show me clearly why it's the five of pentacles here. The eight of coins. Heavy on the coins, people. So this might be um, pertaining to finances, right? But this is the five of coins is here because it's saying, well, get out of that feeling of feeling left out, right? Move away from that, right? Come into your truth. Speak your truth with the throat chakra. And make sure that with the eight of coins right here in the um, red energy right here is your root chakra. It's make sure that you ground yourself, right? Make sure that you work towards your goals. Make sure you put like... Put your foot on solid ground, right? Make sure that you become a master of whatever it is that you're working towards. Whatever your craft is. Okay, let's see. What do we have the world here? Tell me clearly, why is the world here for the water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Why is the world here for the water signs? Show me clearly. Why is the world here? It's a blessing. The moon. New things are going to be illuminated to you, right? And we have the throat chakra again. There may be a path that you need to take and you need to go within. Very strong energy too with the moon. More throat chakra. So it means making sure that like your emotions are balanced and that when you're speaking your truth, there is a balance in there, right? And that you have the clarity when you do so. Some of you may have to do, pay attention to the cycles of the moon, new moon, full moon phases, and start working with that energy. Okay, show me why the three of swords is here for the water signs. Show me why the three of swords is here for the water signs. The chariot. The chariot, right? More red chakra, root chakra energy, right? Working on those past traumas and experiences with the three of swords is remember those experiences. But now you're moving away from it. It's time to utilize those energies, strengthen yourself, right? The chariot is all about having that balance, right? Of the shadow self and the light self. And using that energy to propel yourself forward. And this is the energy of cancer. So cancer is showing up on this. Pretty awesome. All right, now show me clearly. Why do we have the three of pentacles? The last blessing was the three of pentacles here. Four of cups. Interesting energy, right? So four is about foundation, right? And this four is heart chakra energy. So again, with the solar plexus, right? Working on your self-care, self-acknowledgement, self-worth, and partnering up with people and really working on those partnerships and making sure they're established and that they're grounded and that they're rooted in truth, right? Because we have lots of blue chakra energy, right? Speaking the truth. And communicating clearly and we have the reds which are overcoming any difficulties in the past grounding yourself with the four of cups right it says open your heart up to something new that could potentially be coming your way right at first it might seem like it's not something that you're really looking for but there's an opportunity there for you okay let's get a moonology card to support this all right. Show me clearly one moonology card to support this reading. Show me clearly the moonology card to support this reading. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. For the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. Okay, so you see how the moon is like starting to decrease. Right? In its light, in its power. So take time to breathe out. 
which means you cannot operate on 100 all the time, you know? So as you work towards one goal, you have to make sure that you sustain that energy, right? Endurance, have the stamina to pace yourself. It's super important to do that. All right, and let's get one spirit animal oracle message. Show me clearly for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And work on your birth control. Sometimes you guys may be forgetting to even breathe and not realizing how important it is to stop and to breathe. Be conscious with your breathing. Conscious breathing is so important. Okay. Love this one. Wow. Okay. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter. Right? Clear out the clutter. And clear out the clutter means with the three of swords, right? Get rid of all that mental clutter. All those thoughts, especially negative thoughts, thoughts that are attached to um, negative emotions or negative experiences. It's time to remove those because the world is calling for you, right? To step into a new cycle, new partnerships, connections, and something that you may be overlooking. All right, Water Science, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that was your reading for the day. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification at the bottom. I hope you appreciate these messages and see the positivity in there. And I will see you all next week. Let's send you all my blessings. Take care. Bye.